Hey city kids, since I told the Bible story last week, Richard's gonna be telling the Bible story today. Remember to help him out, just in case he forgets some of the most important parts. And remember to sign up for City Kids class at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings in the gym. And don't forget, on November 18th, we're gonna be having a cookies and card night. We're gonna be making Thanksgiving cards for our family and our neighbors. And we're gonna be having some cookies. I hope you can come. Before Richard comes back out, let's stand up and sing together. Here we go. Can you hear me now? Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Hey, city kids. This is Richard and I, ah, uh, Cho. Sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's try it again. Hey, city kids. I'm on the nightly news. I always wanted to be a news anchor, like Walter Cronkite. And that's the way it is. What? What do you mean they don't know who Walter Cronkite is? What? What do you mean they don't watch the nightly news? Hey, city kids. Thanks for watching today. Pastor Casey told me to start with Adam because I'm obviously a much better looking version of Pastor Casey. His words, not mine. 
He said I get to be in charge today. No, no, no. But he did say I could teach the story about Cornelius and Peter. So here I am on my big comfy storytelling chair. There once was a leader in the Italian army, a centurion. That means he was in charge of a hundred soldiers. He wasn't Jewish and his name was, uh, what was his name? Starts with a C. Do you remember? Oh, I know, I know. Cornelius. Interesting name. That reminds me of a game I play with my grandkids. It's called Cornhole. And I play, uh, well, I'm getting off topic. Where were we? Oh yeah, yeah, corn. So in Nebraska, they grow corn all over. And, wait a minute, where are my notes? Oh yes, yes, Cornelius. So he was praying one time and an angel showed up and smacked him around and yelled, wake up corn dog. Oh, I mean, Cornelius. And the angel said to send some men to Peter's house and invite Peter over. So Cornbread got up, oh, oh, I mean Cornelius got up and had three men leave and go get Peter. Three men. Oh, rats. I can't show you three fingers on my hand. Imagine I'm holding up three. At Peter's house the next day, Peter was praying and he was hungry. God showed Peter some animals and told Peter to eat the animals. Some animals were considered unclean to eat. And Peter said, Lord, I cannot eat these animals. They are not clean. But God told Peter, do not call anything unclean if I have made it clean. Kind of strange, right? I wonder what it means. Peter didn't know either. God told Peter not to call something unclean if he had made it clean. And God told him three times. All right, still have four fingers. Imagine three, three times. So Peter gets up and he's kind of confused. What does it mean? He doesn't know yet, but right then, the men that corn cob, I mean, the men that Cornelius sent, arrived at his gate, asking for a man named Peter. Peter didn't want to go because he was allergic to corn. No, no, that's not right. Peter did go because God told him that the men had been sent by God and that he was supposed to go with them. So he did and went to the house of cornbread. Oh, I mean Cornelius. Cornelius was so excited to see him when he arrived. Peter went inside and there was a whole room of people there waiting to hear what Peter had to say. So Peter told them all every one of them that Jesus loved them and died for them, even though they weren't Jewish. It really was amazing. And then, Richard, what are you doing? Uh, oh, hey, Pastor Casey, I was just sharing about acorns and unicorns. You mean Cornelius. Oh, right. Did you tell them how Peter realized it didn't matter if you're a Jew or Gentile or from any other nation? Right, except elves. Elves are the best. Well, and puppets. Elves? Legolas? Shooting his arrows? Pew, 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 pew. Elves are not real, and not a nationality. Dwarves? Not real. Smurfs? Nope, not real. Rats? Oh, those are real. What? Anyways, so Peter realized what the dream meant. That God didn't have favorites, and he loved all people. If the animals in the dream had been made clean, so can we. And Jesus' death was to cleanse all of us from our sin. So what happened after that? I bet they were hungry. Did they have a corn meal? Ha! <laughs> Get it? Meal with corn? A corn meal? A meal with Cornelius? No? Nothing? Actually, everyone heard Peter share about Jesus, and then they decided to follow Jesus. They were all cleansed and made new, just like our Bible verse says in 2 Corinthians 5:17. 517. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has begun a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. Following Jesus meant they not only experienced new life and a fresh start, but then they also received the Holy Spirit. 
and then they got baptized. It turned into a big party as they celebrated their new life in Jesus. I love parties, like the one Cinderella went to. The corn ball. <laughs> I don't think so. But I bet it was a lot of fun for them to celebrate their baptisms when they decided to follow Jesus. Richard, have you been baptized? I'm a puppet. You know that. I did watch a baptism, though. A friend of mine got baptized in a river a few years ago. It was raining, so I watched from the inside of my van. In your van? Down by the river? Yeah. What? Never mind. Kids, if you haven't decided to follow Jesus, you can today. First, admit your sins and need for his forgiveness. Then, believe that Jesus died for you and loves you. Then, commit to following him each and every day. When you decide to follow Jesus, tell someone so they can celebrate with you, just like Peter and Cornelius did. Your church wants to celebrate with you too, so tell me. And remember to sign up for the City Kids class Sundays at 9 a.m. in the gym. Thanks again for watching. See you Sunday. Bye, kids, in the camera.